here we go there we have our first story that is uh, Anka and Robert and we start our first story reading time the story is called Franklin Flying Bookshop by Jen Campbell and Katie Harnett let's see what do you got here Franklin loves stories stories keep him warm at night his front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind there are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in he likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear Okay, now you mommy. Every, every time, every day, every day, Franklin, Franklin, yeah. read about, read about Arthur, King Arthur, Arthur and, and roller skating, skating. about electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet and how to do kung fu. <laughs> when the sun goes down, Franklin reads the lights of a thousand fireflies because fireflies likes to hear stories too. But if it's warm night, he spreads the wings and flies into the sky to read by the lights of the moon. Oh. There is a village near Franklin Clay Cave. Sometimes Franklin goes here. But it is always quiet and it is always empty and he can never find anyone to read stories to. Oh, can't find anyone to read them stories. So Franklin goes home and read about gymnastics and helps the bats in his cave set up a trapeze. Then he yawned very loud and stretched his tails and climbed into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. Where he is? Oh, look, mommy, he's here. He sleeps. Don't, See? Don't say it for you are getting into YouTube. He sleeps touched up under hundreds of comics and dreams about Vikings sailing over the sea oh wow mm -hmm. yeah yes one day by the stream franklin sees a man what are you cries the man Qu quacking in his boots and franklin said Franklin and he hauled out his hand I am a dragon who loves books and I live in a cave but the man drops his fishing rod and run far away so Franklin goes home and read about music and helps the miss in his cave start up a band. Wow. Next day by the farm Franklin sees a lady. What are you? cried the lady, shivering on the spot. I I am Franklin says Franklin and he holds out his hand I'm a dragon and a bar manager and I like ballet 
but the lady screams loudly and runs far away. So Franklin trails home and to read about space and help the fireflies make patterns like the stars in the sky. There is, there is here. <laughs> Let's see what is next. Next day in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. He has bright hair, the and same color as the leaves, and she's reading a book sitting under a tree. Wow, look at her. What is the book about, Mommy? What do you think? About the stories of dragons. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, she likes him. Who are you? asked the girl, jumping up to her feet. I, I am Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. Franklin is Franklin, he's the fun <laughs> king. I am a, a dragon who likes stargazing and playing croquet. Oh, I love dragons, cries the girl, and she shakes Franklin's hand. You are in this book that I'm reading about a faraway land. Oh, you, you guessed it, mommy. She was reading about the dragons. <laughs> Luna tells Franklin she's read about remote secret islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, about fruits, fruit bats and acrobats and how to be a spy. Mm. So they're being kidnapped. Do you think? Yes, I think they're being kidnapped. No, he just want to catch bats, mommy, I think. Franklin tells Luna he's read about sword fighters and fire eaters and about circuses and on theaters, about flowers arranging and carol singing and making apple pie. Luna and Franklin feel like they are made out of stories. Stories with exciting beginnings, thrilled, thrilling middles and very happy ends. Story about how new people and strange places and about making friends. Wow, they want to share their favorite books with as many people as they can. So they sit down together and came up with a plan. Oh, let's see. Their hoist bookshelves up high with the help of the mice and tie ropes round and round to make sure they fit tight. They move a sofa some cake tins, tie comics with a string on and what they do to make a small loop sided bookshop. A small bookshop bookshop between Franklin Wings. Wings. Oh they make a bookshop. A bookshop. Oh that's a good plan. Hello everyone, my name is Robert. I'm hey. a singer from um, Instagram. Okay, guys. Everybody and climb on board. Finger. Okay, and I'm a hand. Luna holds her breath. The mice hold each other. The fireflies gasp and the bat cross their toes. Satu is gonna be a new story. Franklin bends down low and runs as fast as he can. He sprints down the hill and spreads out his wing and takes off into the sunset with the help of the winds. Oh, what happened? Franklin lent his flying bookshop in the middle of the village. Is that dragon? cries the fisherman. What a monster, another cries. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. 
We built this bookshop together from books in his cave. Franklin ca is kind and he's clever and he's my friend. Oh. There is a small silence. Franklin shuffled his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you, he said, as he waves at, oh, at the crowd, who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we would love to share. Please come say hello and pull up a chair. The fireflies light up the shelves, the buds, cartwheels along the bookcases, and the mists clear their throats and start singing songs. It isn't long before the villages, villagers start taking a look, climbing up on to Franklin to peer at the books. Oh, wow. Franklin takes a deep breath as Luna passed out cake. He tells them stories about scientists and Antarctica and snakes. Is that so cool? Mm -hmm. He whispered tales about dragons and how to make creme brulee. And everyone is listening to what he has to say. Let's fly, Luna smiles at the fireflies dance and the acrobatic bats show off their kung fu. So they all hold on tight as Franklin takes flight reading book by the light of the moon. Yeah, wait a moment. They, they fly on. Ah, you see? The end. Hello, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody.